In this class, you will continue studying the same subject as the last one, on how to insert geometric constraints manually. Let's begin the class working on this file to apply and test commands. First, let's speak about the fix constraint. This constraint is used for fixing a specific point to an entity in the graphic workspace. There are different application possibilities for this constraint. You see, to fix two points to a straight line, it's necessary to use constraints at each end of the line. Apply one constraint on the desired end to fix only one point of the straight line. Thereby you can change the dimension and the angle of the straight line, and meanwhile always keep it as a fixed reference point. Object is another option for this command, and when applied to a straight line, it fixes a slanted angle. If applied to an arc or circumference, it fixes its center to the graphic workspace. The parallel geometric relationship requires two linear entities to remain parallel, which means they will remain equidistant. See how two straight lines will never intersect. However, a perpendicular relationship is defined as two linear entities at a 90 degree angle. You can only select objects in parallel or perpendicular relationships. To apply a horizontal relationship to an element, you have to use the horizontal constraint. Likewise, to define an element for a vertical relationship, we use the vertical constraint. Based on the tangent relationship, we can define a common point for both objects. See how you can apply this constraint to circumferences, arcs and straight lines. Whenever this kind of constraint is applied to an entity and then moved, the other object will maintain the tangent point. The smooth constraint is used for keeping a spline related to another element, for example a straight line, polyline or another spline. As you can see here, this tool achieves uniform or smooth shape transition in elements. Use the symmetric constraint to insert symmetry in drawing elements. This relationship, when inserted, will automatically resize the selected elements and change the distance between them. All changes made on one of the elements will also affect the other element. See, when you enable this command, object selection is automatically enabled. However, you can change the way you select it by clicking the two-point option. Then select two points on the same entity or different ones. The last constraint you will study here is equal that defines two elements to be the same size. Multiple is one of the available options which allows you to select several objects at the same time in order to apply this constraint. See how it is applied. So in this class you have studied how to manually insert constraints in a drawing to define part geometry. <laughs>